Hey guys, we're going to show the uh, Ghost Ship today, how to get it activated within Foundry. Um, if you're a Patreon subscriber for the other five levels of it. If you haven't seen the Ghost Ship yet, though, uh, it's just like the Galleon, except Ghostified. I'm going to throw a couple of NPCs on here to demonstrate some of the things later. But if I activate one of these, you can hear ghostly sounds. Uh, we do take advantage of the new lighting system within the uh, 0.7.5 update to Foundry. And it works just like you would expect it to. Um, we do use uh, some hotspots for uh, multi-level token, which can help you teleport around. Um, we also use FX Master and a number of um, cloud, star, and fog effects all to create the atmosphere that we want. But you don't have to use any of those things. Those are all optional. Let's talk about how to actually um, activate a scene from the compendium. So once you've installed the BaileyWiki Maps module, you have to make sure that it's toggled on from your module management. And once you do that and you refresh your page, it will introduce some new compendiums. The ones that you want, the one that you want is at the end called BaileyWiki Maps Scene Compendium. And you'll see the ghost ship that I've already imported. I've also imported the other levels. I'm just going to show you what it looks like. We're going to take the captain's quarters. We're going to import this by right clicking it. There's nothing that you need to change here, although you're welcome to adjust the settings that you like. And we'll see now we have a new map here, captain's quarters. If I go into that map, this is actually a PNG or it's actually a WebP file. We're going to want to change that file so that it matches the captain's quarters. Now, if you don't know where to find it, um, you download this premium content on, uh, on my Patreon here. You can look for the October 2020 release. There's other links to it. What you're ultimately looking for is the Galleon Ghost Ship .zip. If you download that, unzip it somewhere where you'll remember in your, uh, on your desktop or wherever, that's, those are the files that you're going to need to um, replace the broken links in the, uh, the Foundry system. So let me jump back into Foundry and show you how to do that. So we're going to go to our tile management tool. We're going to double click this image and we are going to go um, wherever you put those or wherever you like to keep your map images. We're going to go there. I keep mine in my worlds under maps and I have downloaded them all here. You have PNG and WebP. The WebP are just as high quality as the PNG, but they are significantly smaller in size. Um, they're very, very efficient. So I recommend using those if you can. I'm gonna find the one that matches the map that I'm trying to do, in this case is Captain's Map. Notice I have the concept of main deck. You have the main deck rooms and you have the main deck outside. Uh, so outside of the main rooms. Make sure you keep those in mind when you're trying to match things. But let's go ahead and capture the captain's image. And we know we have the right image when we turn on walls and we see that the walls line up to the room that we care about. So now that we've got that fixed, I can also right click it and say regenerate thumb. And it will give me a, a more accurate thumbnail image here. Now I've got all of my, my levels I wanted to, I could come back in here and grab my test actor. And now if I have a multi-level token on, it should automatically let me teleport. If I was the actual um, character or the player, I would instantly teleport. Since I'm from the GM's view, um, you're just seeing me, uh, you're seeing the, kill, the player teleport out, but not back in again. And that's it. There's a, been a lot of folks on my Patreon that have had a lot of fun with this map. Hope you guys too. Um, yeah, that's that's what I wanted to show you today. This is a, like a really fun map. I'm really uh, looking forward to users being really excited about it, you know, jumping down into the hold here and being able to continue their battles uh, throughout the ship. It's just been a lot of fun to watch. Um, you know, my patrons work this out and of course getting to the ultimate level to the bilge with all of the bones stacked up um, you can have some really great encounters in here so hopefully you guys have fun with this map thanks so much